Now we're going to learn how to set up a document. We're used to now the interface, or maybe not used to, but certainly uh, we've seen it uh, at least once before. And we've talked about ve vector and raster graphics. So now let's set up a document and we can start using Adobe Illustrator. Now the most traditional way, of course, in all of programs like this, is go to File and then New. You can see there were some other options there. We're not going to worry about those. Now, if you're on Windows, Control N will get you here. And if you're on Mac, Command N will do this for you. Now, you're seeing a lot of stuff here. And this advanced stuff we're not even going to worry about for a second. Right away, you're asked to make some decisions that maybe you don't know what they are yet. We're not going to worry so much about a lot of the options on the screen, except for saying your number of artboards should be one. We're only going to have one surface or one document that we're working on. Your document profile, you can choose from some standard sizes here. Maybe if I'm going to do something for the web, you can see the size picker lets me do 800, 600, 1024, not exactly up to date sizes, but certainly sizes. Or if you're going to do something in print, then you can see we have a letter size document, the legal tabloid A4, so different paper sizes. We're also asked here to choose what units we're going to be creating. Now, units can be points, pixels, whatever you want. Um, you can see picas is even a used unit of measurement here. But uh, for our European friends, we have the metric system, we have inches. Uh, I generally use inches if I'm quickly just jumping into Illustrator to try something out. And you can see a letter is 8 and a half, 11, so that's a normal one-pieced sheet of paper. Um, and right here, we can name our document. Now, if you forget to name it here or you leave it untitled, you have the opportunity to change that afterwards. So you can just hit OK right away or you can, you can start naming your document. We're just going to call this... Basic document. You can type right in there. Now, if you really want, you can come and change the size, and let's do that too, just so we can get a feel for it. We're going to do a 10 inch wide by 6 inch high, so this is going to be wider than it is tall, right? And then we have these bleed settings. Now, bleed is a print uh, setting that basically says, how much of your document is going to hang off the edge when it gets printed. We don't really ever want to mess with that, especially getting out of the gate. Um, but if you do, um, if you are asked by a publisher or a uh, designer or somebody that needs a file, hey, can that have a one inch bleed, for example, you can change this number and it'll kind of change your margins. But we want to leave these, just delete that and type zero. And you can see when I click in somewhere else, it kind of populates. Now, we will just peek at the advanced because it has some kind of important stuff. The most important, and this is Illustrator CS5 I'm using, is CMYK and RGB. Now, this seems like a small thing, but it kind of affects a lot, like, by default, how you would pick colors from the color palette, and it, it affects what kind of document you're going to be making. If you're going to make something for printing, you really want CMYK. If you're going to make something for the internet, or for a computer screen, um, or it's going to be on a uh, mobile device, that's RGB all the way. I tend to make a lot of things in RGB. I just find that it is better for most of the stuff I do. So I have it set to RGB. You can set it to CMYK uh, or RGB. I'd suggest matching me here so you'll have some idea of what's going on. And here our final option is align new objects to pixel grid. We're just going to kind of stay away from that. will be for more advanced web design. We can tuck that away and say, let's make a basic document. Now, with all that being said, work up the courage and come over here and hit OK. Because we're about to get 
at lesson number four.